As President Trump lands in Poland and heads to Friday's G20 meeting in Germany, it's the country that is Austria that is deploying armored vehicles to close its border with Italy to block illegal immigrants from getting into the country. Remember, Libya is a failed state. A lot of refugees pouring in from there. Now, this move reflects deep concern in Vienna and elsewhere in Europe over the high number of asylum seekers who continue to cross the Mediterranean. Here at home, illegal immigrant arrests are now doubling under President Trump. Jody Mao, National Center for Policy Analysis, he's a, the executive director there. He's retired Lieutenant Colonel Alan West. Good to see you, Colonel. Good to be with you, Liz. When you see the ongoing migrant crisis in Europe, why do people here continue to attack President Trump for trying to slow down the influx when Democrats historically have said, yes, we have to do that? Well, I think you have to understand it's a progressive socialist ideology. They don't respect borders and boundaries and the sovereign status of nations. And if you look and read about what is happening there with Austria, they're being challenged by Italy because of the EU having the open access across borders. So in other words, what Italy is saying is that you have no right to block the transit of these individuals. And we know that we have heard and we have seen the evidence of ISIS saying that they will infiltrate, infiltrate these uh, refugee masses. We've seen some of these social disorders and the sexual assaults and rapes that have increased in Germany and elsewhere across Europe. But the real question we have to ask us, why aren't countries like Qatar and Saudi Arabia and others stepping up to the plate with taking care of these refugees? Why do they believe it's the responsibility of Western nations to expend their resources to do so? Yeah, it's a good point. I mean, these are oil-based economies that are social welfare states teetering on oil prices have been plunging. Let's get to what President, uh, let's get to here at home how uh, illegal immigration arrests are doubling in places like San Diego under President Trump. Now, between February and May, ICE agents arrested nearly 550 illegal immigrants there. At the same time, last year, 242 were arrested. Uh, Colonel, I want to get to this quote from President Barack Obama back in 2006. He said, we must stop and deport illegal immigrants. Their terrorists could come in over our very uh, basically porous borders. Uh, we must deny relief to illegal immigrants. Ill illegal immigration is bad for illegal immigrants, bad for the workers against whom they compete. That was President Barack Obama in 2006. What are your thoughts? Well, that was Senator Barack Obama in 2006. It's a Good lot point. different Thank you. when yes. all of a sudden, no, no problem. That's why you have me on, Liz. Yes. It's a lot different <laughs> when all of a sudden you are running to be president of the United States of America and it's about political constituencies and it's about an, a politicized agenda. So, you know, last week we had the passage of Kate's law and also the passage of the Sanctuary Cities law, and a lot of that was lost in the uh, translation, and that did not get the type of publicity it needs. We are a sovereign nation, and we should be protecting our borders and our boundaries and the American people. And when you think about these numbers that are coming out of San Diego and, and other parts of Southern California, these are still cities that have upwards to one million uh, illegal immigrants that are there, many of them being criminal illegal immigrants. So we don't want to see a repeat of what happened with Kate Steinle and other Americans all across our great land. And thank you for correcting me. I love that. Keep it coming. Colonel Allen West, will. thank you so much. Next up, My we have list. this story for you. A